Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day today. Today I'm really excited to do this tutorial. It's just a very simple, very neutral smoky eye. This is an everyday smoky eye. This is the one that I tend to go to almost every day on a daily basis, especially if I'm just going out somewhere, if I'm just going shopping. I don't want to do too, something too crazy um, like with some of like the purple smoky eyes I've done and I just want to do a simple, neutral, easy, everyday smoky eye. This is what I do. I paired it with a nude lip today, but this would also look really great with a really dark lip and it is like cold, it's winter, so like dark lips are in, you know. I already did my face, so I didn't include my face in this tutorial. Um, it's pretty similar to everything I've done in all my other tutorials. The only difference is I am using the L'Oreal Infallible foundation today. So I'm going to wear it the whole day and then in my next video I'll let you know how I liked it. Um, if you want to see it like where I show you me like show you with me putting it on and then like I come back like eight hours later to show you what it looks like and how it's settled onto my face I can do that as well but in my next video I will let you know how I like it like if it's settled into any fine lines or if it made me look too shiny it's a matte foundation so I would hope that it wouldn't make me look shiny but so if you want to see how I did this neutral easy everyday smoky eye please keep watching Alright guys, let's get started. So first pull your hair back either in a ponytail or do a headband like I usually do just so that your hair is out of the way so that you can use your eyes easier. I'm going to start off with Makeup Geek Peach Smoothie. This is just going to act as our transition shade. You want to look for a color that's similar to your skin color. I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit because you're probably like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, zoomed you in. So I am using a Sigma E40 fluffy brush just to dust this transition shade into my crease area and I'm going all the way across my eye. I like to buff it into my crease area in wind windshield wiper motions and then I like to go into little circles after it's been distributed across my crease just so that it gives it that smoky effect. Next I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek Cream Brulee. This is just a light, light brown shade. Um, we're gradually going into darker browns here, so if you can just find any light brown shade that will do. And I'm using a Sigma E25 blending brush, and I am also putting this across my entire crease area. Then what I like to do is I like to put on the scotch tape just because those colors are very, very light so you don't really need it when you're putting on those first transition colors, but if you want, you can. I just sometimes decide to put it on after my transition colors. Then I'm going to go in with this shade here. This is a Morphe eyeshadow. This is ES62. You can get this in a single or you can get this in the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. Using the same Sigma E25, I'm going to concentrate most of it on the outer part of my crease, but I am going to bring it in slightly once it's already distributed into my inner part of my crease. I'm just going back in with that Sigma E40 fluffy brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines and just to diffuse it all and smoke it out. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Brown Down. This is very similar to MAC Embark, so if you have that, you can use that as well. It's really just a dark matte brown, so you can use really any dark matte brown. And I'm going to be concentrating this just on the outer part of my crease. I'm not going to go in past the middle of my eye, and I'm still using this Sigma E25. I'm going to be slightly bringing this onto the outer part of my lid as well. Then I'm going to go in with a slight amount of Cocoa Bear. It's a very warm brown. I wanted to do this just to warm it up just a bit on the outer upper area. I'm putting this slightly above the crease because I just wanted to warm it up a little bit. Okay, and then I'm taking a small domed blending brush. This is from Coastal Scents. It's actually one of my favorites and it's pretty cheap just because it's so small. 
This is the BRCS09. I'm going to be using a little bit of Makeup Geek Corrupt, which is a black shadow. You can use any black shadow, I just feel like this is a really great black matte shadow. And I'm putting a very, very small amount on, and I'm putting this in the C area of my outer crease. when my camera just stops randomly recording <laughs> but I was saying before my camera decided to stop recording that once that black shadow is on you want to blend that out with that Sigma E40 fluffy brush just to make it nice and soft and diffused because it is black and you want no harsh lines with this I'm going to take MAC Green this is I don't know how to describe it it's like a champagne color I'm taking a Clinique eyeshadow brush, you can use any eyeshadow brush, and I'm putting this in the middle and outer part of my lid, basically the area where we didn't put the dark shadow on the outer part of our lid. This is just a really pretty neutral color and it goes perfectly with the browns and the slight amount of black that we have. Then I'm going to take MAC Naked Lunch. This is similar to what we just put on but it's actually brighter and it's got a little bit more shimmer in it I just want to put that on top then using a Sigma E44 I'm going to be highlighting my brow bone with Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer I'm going to put a little bit of this in the inner corners as well time for eyeliner so this is Maybelline uh, Blackest Black Gel, and I'm using uh, Real Techniques 202 brush. This is from their new Bold Metals collection. And I'm leaving the tape on just because it does make it easier to draw out your wing. And you want to flick it the higher up you are. a L'Oreal uh, liquid liner. This is their, um, what is this? Linear Intense. I like this one just because it has a really small pointed felt tip and it's a lot easier for me to get into the inner parts of my eye with a liquid liner felt tip. Removing that tape, there you see we have that crisp line. Okay, now to smoke out our bottom lash line, which is one of my favorite parts. Going in with the Sigma Flat Definer, I'm going to go back in with that ES62 eyeshadow from Morphe. And I'm going to be buffing this along the entire lash line. I like to make it nice and smoky. You can tone this down as much as you want but this is a smoky eye, so I like to make everything smoky. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go back in with that MAC Brown Down, which is that dark uh, brown matte shade, and I'm going to be putting this along the entire lash line as well. You can only do it on the outer corner if you want, but I want to bring it in all the way. Then I'm just taking a Sigma pencil brush. This is an E30, you can use any pencil brush. I'm just going to buff that out so that it's nice and smoky. Okay, then I'm going to be using some eyeliner to line my bottom waterline. This is the Ardency In Modster Eyeliner in Black. And I'm just lightly putting this in my waterline. Then I'm using some Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara to put some of this on my lashes. I am going to be using some false lashes. You can totally just leave it like this. And that's fine, like if you're in a rush. But I'm going to put some on. Okay, so these are my lashes of choice. This is House of Lashes Pixie Lux. They're very natural looking. So if you do choose to go with false lashes, these are very natural. Very, um, they're not very thick, which is nice for a daytime look. They're nice and wispy. You just want to let that dry a little bit and get a little bit tacky before you put it on because then it's just slipping around your eyelid and you ruin every, everything you just did. Boom. 
when that's done. Oh my god, there's freaking husky hair in my lashes. Uh, yes, yeah, so I have a Siberian husky and his hair is everywhere. It's in my eyeshadow palettes. It's even in my freaking lashes. Second lash done. Okay, so now for the lips. Um, I'm hoping that this is going to match, but let's see. Um, I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Easy. And I'm going to go in with an Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lovely. Let's see how this works out. That's the finished look, you guys. I hope you like it. It's just a very simple, everyday, neutral, smoky eye. This is the smoky eye that I go to on a daily basis. It's very natural looking. So don't forget, if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to please subscribe. You can click the subscribe button at the end of my video. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. This is called Cake, and this is also a nude, but it's a lot brighter. I think it's a little bit, it has a little bit more pink in it, so it's not a true nude, but it definitely is like a summery, springy color. I love this. By the way, if you guys want swatches of these or of any of the eyeshadows or liquid lipsticks that I showed you earlier, just let me know and I'll do swatches. I just didn't want to make this video like a million hours long by swatching all of this stuff because it would take forever. So.